Okay, so in this um, part, I am going to show you how to play the snare. There are um, an incredible amount of ways to play this snare. Uh, for now, I'm playing these uh, Promark rocket rods just so that I can save the audio. <laughs> um, but basically, the reason why I'm playing this is because this is going to give a definite, um, this is going to add a little bit of cushion to the impact of the snare drum itself. Um, the snare head gives you a couple of different options on what you want the sound to sound like. The closer to, to the edge that you're going to play will definitely play on the, the amount of space that's given between the shell and the uh, center of the head. The more centered you are on, on the head, the more you're going to use the entire drum versus the, the different, the, the outer part, which will give you more of a ring. So for example, that is definitely going to give you a lot more ring because you're playing closer to the ring and you're playing closer to the to the to the shell instead of the actual snare itself. So when you're playing on the center of the actual snare, it has more of a controlled sound because it's using because it's using all the lugs. It's using the tension of of how tight the head is and how well it's 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 tuned. Also. In playing this snare, there's, there are different ways of actually hitting it. So a lot of people, depending on how they hold it, um, they will either play with some angle down where they're only hitting the center of the snare, and that's what it, it sounds like, or they're playing with half of the stick and they're laying it right on the actual drum itself, which gives a much bigger sound. Um, so that is going to give you a lot more because you're playing with half of a stick and you're hitting more of the actual snare. The, there's a downside to that though is that if you're recording or if you're in a recording environment, hitting, hitting the, the snare in that, that manner sounds louder, but what ends up happening is that you're picking up a little bit of the ring of the and the shell and that's not a very good technique to, to, to do it with. Um, also, if you do switch up and, you're, and you want to be able to go back and forth from different genres um, or maybe a different part of the song, a, a lot of drummers will play from this type of snare feel to um, a very tribal kind of with, without the snare um, uh, attached to the, to the bottom of the head, which again gives you a different feel. But uh, basically, center of the snare, um, a lot more solid, less ring tone. Uh, the closer you are to the side of the snare is going to give you a lot of ring and a lot of um, sustain. And it will be a lot louder live, uh, but again, not the most proper technique to use. And not to add, if you have rings that are powder coated, it will start to chip off the paint or the powder coating and it damages such as this. So. That's that. If you'd like to learn more about playing drums, please click on any of the videos that you see here.